Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian. We've had an exclusive interview with Poland's Defense Minister, Antony Macierewicz, who was in Washington for a brief visit. We met with Macierewicz at the Atlantic Council think tank, where we had an opportunity to sit down for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Macierewicz speaks fluent English, but chose to speak through an interpreter. I was recently in Poland for the Wrocław Global Forum. Uh, and during the forum, they were concerned by Poles that while the Russians have deployed many divisions on the border, uh, missiles like Iskander, uh, talking about the nuclear capability of those weapons, triple-digit SAMs, aircraft, uh, stockpiles of munitions, there was a concern whether the alliance was doing enough to deter a Russia with so much capability. Obviously, the Warsaw Summit just happened. You hosted it. It was a great event, uh, you know, one of the most important security events in Poland since joining NATO. Uh, but talk to us a little bit about whether what's been done, whether four battalions as part of this new reassurance initiative uh, is really sufficient to deter Russia. Aren't we really talking about putting significantly greater to troops in Poland and the Baltics to truly deter Russia? Well, of course, when you take into consideration the possibility of a direct concentrated attack from the Russian side, then four battle groups, battalion groups, even if we take into consideration even other troops, you would need to count heavy brigade, heavy U.S. brigade on the territory of Poland, all of those joint forces will be not enough. You have to say even more. Even if there is a threat, the NATO spearhead, uh, where we are talking about 5,000 soldiers, this also will be not enough, because on the side of Russia, we see forces that are able to uh, win against even such uh, defense, but we are talking about the first step and we are talking about t deterring. We are all aware uh, that if uh, this step is insufficient, uh, Russia will still be as aggressive as it is now. Those forces will have to be increased and we, the Republic of Poland, already increase our army to 150,000 soldiers and the next year we want it to uh, be even bigger and the percent spent for defense will be up to 3% of the GDP. Now we have 2% and then we'll also ask our allies for bigger help. Let me take you to the question of the Russian capabilities that worry Poland the most, and how are Russian actions shaping Polish defense strategy? I think that uh, this danger that is connected with the potential Russian aggression in a decisive way changed the Polish behavior the moment when the government of law and justice, the ruling party now, came to power. We made the decision in order to equip the army better to develop the Polish army when it comes to numbers and we cr cr are creating new regional defense units that are aiming at defending our country but also defending hybrid threats does counteracting hybrid threats sorry russia continuously points out that the iskander missile that it has can be nuclear tipped uh, and there are some strategists you talk to in the united states who say that at some point both the United States, NATO, and Poland are going to have to discuss whether nuclear weapons will have to be deployed to Poland, just like they were deployed to Germany uh, during the Cold War. And some people say that had America not deployed Pershing, you wouldn't have gotten arms reductions and, and basically tried to cool down uh, tensions. Do you think at some point that decision has to be taken and debated in Poland? I think that such a discussion maybe should be made, but we are not talking about nuclear weapons being put into Poland. We are talking about only making such steps that would make it impossible for the Russians to um, 
pose a threat to our allies and to divide NATO into countries that will be left under Russian influence and countries that, you know, fear Russian nuclear aggression and will retreat from active support for NATO. But this does not concern nuclear weapons being present in Poland, not on, not on this stage. Russia has consistently taking an, taken advantage of unrest to advance its own interests. At a time when Britain has voted to leave the European Union, at a time when there's been a coup in Turkey uh, and a massive purge of the Turkish military and security services, uh, and a time when the American presidential, Republican presidential candidate is questioning the fundamental uh, tenets of the Atlantic Alliance, the Article 5 Mutual Defense Clause, are you concerned that over the weeks and coming months Russia will take advantage of that, perhaps to grab territory or somehow provoke the alliance. And what does the alliance have to do to protect itself in that case? Well, it is true that the present situation is especially difficult for various reasons and events that happened in the last time, but it is good uh, that, well, you know, due to uh, this unfortunate evolution, that it was uh, also presided by a unanimous decision of the North Atlantic Alliance made during uh, the summit in Warsaw, saying that there will be troops on the eastern flank and any attack on any of those countries will be at the same time or even automatic reason for uh, the whole alliance to act and to respond. I did not understand the formulations that were said during this presidential discussion in the US as a undermining of the Washington Treaty. It was only paying attention to the fact that always the burden of the first reaction lies on the country uh, that is being attacked and uh, this that country that is attacked that needs to be able to respond and to make the first move to make the first defensive step and only then um, the Washington Treaty will be launched, that country that will defend itself, and I understand that it's still in force, one for all, all for one. This rule has to apply. Let me ask you about modernization. Um, the Polish government has said that it's going to increase spending. It was very welcome from 2% to 3% of GDP. Um, the government has been reconsidering acquisition programs. Uh, two quick questions uh, back to back. First. Um, what can you tell us, how can you update us on what the priority modernization programs are going to be? And the second question is, given that the government has increased social benefits, there is a concern whether Poland is going to be able to spend more money on it. Can you give us a sense on how you're going to find that extra money as well? Well, one has to say clearly that the majority of financial problems of Poland resulted and results from corruption and uh, the fact that tax were not paid due to criminal activities of some enterprises and the means that were by us mobilized within the last months made it possible that the income of our country increased by 20 billion zloty compared to the income uh, of our country in the very same time in the last year. I'm saying that because there is no alternative, meaning either social expenses, either military expenses. We will realize both programs. And what about the modernization agenda? Two issues will be executed right now by Poland as the most important ones. First of all, armaments and equipping of regional defense units, three brigades that this year will uh, be present on the eastern flank, will be equipped with the most modern weapons together with uh, launchers, air ground air and ground to ground and we also have cyber um, uh, tools. Uh, at the same time we are ready to enter into a contract when it comes to anti-missile defense with, with the Raytheon company if the US governments will 
be also ready for that. And extremely briefly, I know you have to go, but how do you respond to Donald Trump's questioning of Article 5 and the value of NATO? Well, once again, I'd like to reiterate that, in my opinion, there, there was no questioning of Article 5 of the Washington Treaty. It was only the repetition of the Article. Article 5 of the Washington Treaty makes the help of the Allies dependent on the will of the attacked country. It does not say about an automatic answer, but the will to fight, to defend and cooperate of the attacked country. And Poland will defend itself if necessary, and Poland expects that Article 5 will be as it was signed, used if necessary. Sir, thanks very, very much. We're honored to have you join us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.